Joseph show. Why you Al Joseph show? Al Joseph show. He just, you know, hey, hey. So I'm supposed to say Al Joseph show. Go watch it, YouTube. There you go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Al Joseph. Welcome to the Al Joseph show. I'm here with one of Arizona's local rappers, Levi Smith. How you doing, man? What's up, man? How you doing, bro? I'm good, thank you. I just caught up with Levi recently. Levi's one of the dopest MCs in Arizona. He's, he's on a come up right now. He's grinding, working hard, just like I am with these interviews. What, what brings you to um, to Tempe today? Uh, Tempe, actually, uh, me and my boy had a performance yesterday okay. for a uh, Coast to Coast competition. They uh, travel around looking okay. for a local artist. So, That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. You, um, are you like their hype man for, for, the, for their uh, band? Actually, uh, actually, my boy set it up, and I was going to be the hype man. But uh, we actually just figured we'd just do a verse song together. So we uh, threw one together and I did a second verse on it. So the, is it a band or is it just two artists that come together? Uh, it's more of a two two artists, you know, collaborating. Like a know. group like Ray Shirt or something like that? Or uh, like different? It's, it's more of like a like a Kanye West, Jay-Z thing, you know? Okay, I got you. Or a future Drake thing, you know? And how long has this been going on with you guys? Um, well, uh, we met in freshman year, but then... Uh, you know, we just started doing music probably yeah. about a year ago. Okay. Yeah. What's the What's the name of the, of the like the rappers? Uh, John Flores, and then uh, we call it when we work together. Call it how you see it. I got you. Yeah. yeah. So you you big part of rap. You love rap. I know that. Um, what was your like your like who who you say would stylizes your type of sound? Like what do you sound like? You would say. I don't. I hate to say that word like sound yeah. like, but because everybody wants their own name. But like, who do you yeah. think you sound like? Like who's your? Well, I've been told that I have like a. Kind of like a sound like Drake a little Drake? bit, okay. But then like a flow like Kendrick, you know oh, what I mean? Damn, you got the best of both worlds, the Drake and Kendrick. You know I mean? Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, that's I, in my opinion. I think Drake is arguably the best rapper out right now. He don't. This is my opinion. Okay, Drake yeah. makes good music. I feel like, but I think Kendrick is more aggressive in his music. He's more for the people. He don't. Yeah. He's not talking. He's like talking for us. He's like our Tupac. Yeah. I know it's a big push because he's kind of early in his rap years. He's well, like six, seven years in. But I feel like he's like our two part. Like he's an aggressive. I would music. say yeah, definitely for sure. He does speak his mind a lot. You know, right. Drake is more of just like the. Drake is just the, a good performer. Yeah. He makes good songs. His voice sounds good. Mainstream, more well, mainstream, yeah. Definitely. Makes music for the people. And then you got so I think Drake, J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, Big Sean, Wale. They're all lyricists. They're all influences, really. You right. know what I mean? Kind of just look at them all, you know. It, anytime I, they, you know, they hit it with a verse or something, get inspiration. Right. You know, that kind of just hypes me up more to just hit, hit right down, you know, I hit the books and stuff. So how you just said that right now, like, um, you know, Drake had that ghostwriting situation that was huge for yeah. like a, a minute. How do you feel about having somebody write like a? Is there a difference between somebody writing a verse for you rather than just a hook? How do you feel about just that? Just a hook. Um, I don't mean that's a tough question, but honestly, I feel like. Cause you you could have someone say like um, the dream wrote you know Rihanna's umbrella right so but it was a hit song and it was Rihanna's song you know what I mean so you could kind of still argue you know if it's just she was a singer for it okay or, okay let me stop you there I I think it's different between R and B and rap though because yeah, R and B is singers. like singers rap is it's kind rap, of rap rap is more it is very so personal. if you have some somebody writing for you that's not you I don't feel it's right honestly I don't feel it's right personally. Right. Um, have you ever just went into a song straight off the top of your head and just recorded from there, or is everything? Written um, from there? Usually, there's like, usually, I mean, sometimes I go straight off the top. Straight off the top. Yeah, and then try and record it, and then go back on, hear, hear, hear what I said. You know what I mean? And then uh, write, write it, write down what I said. What's the most important process when it comes to making a song? I think. Uh, I'd say just catching the vibe. Like to just you know feeling the vibe and just kind of just going with the song you know not trying to I don't know just trying to catch the same energy as a song instead of just trying to make your own you know like sound right exactly when you blow up and get big in the industry who do you who would be your dream collab like your first feature your Jeez. big hit who do you think I don't know man because um, Young Thug is big you got Future you got uh, I would honestly YG. just go with the easiest one and pick Drake. Drake, Drake is huge. So. I'll pick Drake, two light skins. I think <laughs> they would kill it, man. Now, if you get Drake on your song, it's over. I mean, he did it with... Um, he honestly, he could. I feel like any song he's on, he could make something big. You know what I mean? Like yeah. with Conan. You and know? Party Next Door, Party The Weeknd. 
the Migos with the Versace song. Yeah, that was exactly. huge for a minute.